Good morning, everybody. It has been such a long time since I have made a video in my car, but I wanted to talk about a new book that I got on NetGalley. It actually came out back in February, and it is called Heartless Hunter by Kristen Siccarelli. This book is about our main character, Rune, which first of all, I love her name. It's R-U-N-E, Rune. I think it's adorable. So Rune is our female main character and Gideon is our male main character. And this book is so like cat and mouse, enemies to lovers. They, it's also dual POV. So I think it's every other chapter it switches. And I'll be honest, I haven't read this book. Like I finished it back in February. Um, so it's been a while, it's been a while, but I really liked it. And I know that the fantasy realm is just like, gearing up right now. Everyone is obsessed with fantasy. So I want to talk about this book. The whole plot, everything that's going on here is Rune is a witch and she is basically like helping other witches. Her grandma was a witch and that influenced her life a lot. And Gideon, our male main character, like leads this pack of witch hunters. So very cat and mouse. They are playing games with each other, not knowing that they're playing games with each other. And Rune is also like very best friends with Gideon's brother. And I, I the whole time, like you think there's something there and there a hundred percent could be. Um, but yeah, it's so back and forth. So cat and mouse. It is a very cute book. It's a lot more young adult than I expected. Um, like I, I wanted it to be a little bit more, oh God, sorry, the camera keeps moving. Um, I wanted it to be a little juicier and it just wasn't. I was also like screaming at the book the whole time I was reading it because there were so many scenes where I was like, okay, this is it, this is it. And then it didn't happen where like you think they're gonna get together or you think that they're finally gonna realize what's going on and they just don't, but it is very good. It's, it's very thrilling to be young adult because it is that fantasy vibe, but it's very cute. I wanna say I gave this book four out of five stars and I really enjoyed it. Like as young adult as it was, I'm excited for the second book. And I would definitely recommend this to a book club. Like if you guys don't like spicy books, because this book isn't, isn't very spicy at all. I don't remember. There might have been like one scene, but it, it wasn't descriptive. Like you knew it was happening, but it definitely wasn't descriptive. Um, so if you're reading this, if you need like a fantasy book for a book club, I would definitely recommend this one. It is super cute. It's very easy to read, super digestible. Like I said, I was like screaming at the book the whole time because I just wanted more out of it, but it wasn't because like the writing was bad. It was just because I was like, come on, come on, come on. That writing was actually super good. I liked Kristen Siccarelli a lot. I honestly maybe preferred this more than Akatar. I'll say it, kill me, sorry. My phone keeps falling, I'm gonna lose my mind. But I requested it because it was one of the like 2024 books to look out for, authors to watch out. Um, and I did want to read more fantasy. I've only read like a few books in the Akatar series and I didn't read like Fourth Wing or Iron Flame yet. Um, so I was really excited to get it and I was super pumped that I actually received it because it is blowing up. Like this book is super popular right now. It's got so many thousands of reviews. Luckily, I feel like I was one of the first ones to review it. So a little shout out to myself, but on Goodreads at least, um, so specifically, thank you to NetGalley and Kristen Sigrelli and the publishers for giving me a copy of this book because I truly had the best time reading it. And I apologize, this wasn't the most in-depth review. Talked a little bit about the plot. I love the plot. I just wanted more out of it. Like I wanted a little, it was really dramatic. I can't even say I wanted more drama. I think I just wanted it to be less young adult. Just wanted a little bit more spice, I think, out of the plot because it had such a good like dynamic, like a little bit more spice just would have put this book over the edge like the romance scenes could have just been so so good but they weren't they weren't bad that's just me who typically reads like very spicy books the characters were amazing there weren't a lot of characters it was very easy to keep up with you really only had like four or five names to remember i think and i hate books that have a lot of characters um and then like i said the writing was really good like it surprised me because I was in my head just automatically comparing it to like Sarah J Maas and like the big fantasy authors right now, but I loved her writing. I thought it was so digestible, so easy. And she just released 
recently, like in the last couple months, the name of the second book. And I think it's called Rebel Witch. I have no clue when it's coming out. I'm definitely going to request it on NetGalley because I'm very excited to read it. I want to say I gave this book three and a half or four out of five stars. I was very pleasantly surprised and super excited to get this from NetGalley. So I'm going to quickly try and think of some book club questions. These questions are not thought out at all, but just off the top of my head. First one would be, did you think it was right? What she was doing? I guess what they were doing to each other, Rune and Gideon, because they were both, and spoiler if you haven't read the book, but they were both like playing each other the whole time and rightfully like using their love interest to get at the other one. So did you think that was right? At what point did you want them to like stop and just confess? And did you think they would ever confess? Because I, I didn't. I don't think. Second question is an easy one. Whose point of view did you like more? I loved both, but I really liked reading Gideon's because you got to see more of his like, like he struggled. This, this kid struggled and you got to see his past relationships and also his relationship with his parents and his brother. And I just really liked it. I absolutely have to get a new car mount because my phone keeps falling. Um, last question I think is the ending to this book, like honestly shocked me. It was so surprising because I didn't see the twist coming at all. Like I definitely knew something was happening and I was following it for a little bit, but like it shocked me. So were you as surprised? I don't want to say anything cause I don't want to give it away, but the big spoiler as to who was who, if that, it will make sense once you read it. Were you surprised by that? How do you feel about it? Did you see it coming? If I think of some more book club questions, I will put them in the description because again, I say this about every book I read, but I don't want to do this if I don't think it would be a good book club book, but I truthfully think that this would be the best book club book, especially if you guys want to dabble in the fantasy realm, but you don't want anything like way too out there. You know what I mean? It's been such a long time since I've made like a solo video in my car. Me and my friend Hallie Bell have been doing our book club podcast and it has been going so well. So if you haven't watched that, we are Cover to Cover Girls Book Club on YouTube and Spotify and Instagram. I will also link that below because we are just having the best time talking about the craziest books and popular books. So yeah, we've also interviewed a couple authors, but it's been a while since I have done a video on my own and I really wanted to do Heartless Hunter because it is blowing the frick up right now and so many people are talking about it it is all over goodreads and the internet and instagram so yeah i hope you guys read it hope you like this video that's all happy reading bye